What's up guys, Alec Mac 111 and I just recorded this entire sale video and forgot to turn my microphone on, so we're here for round two. Um, basics for this, you guys can contact me on Instagram is the best at Alec underscore McLean or Alec Mac 111. It's in the links in the description. I take Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. I ship stuff literally within the next day or two usually unless I get a ton of orders, which sometimes I do with these sale videos. Um, but I have a ton of guns for sale. I also have some gear. I have some optics and stuff that I'm not going to list because it takes a lot of time to do all the pictures and stuff. But if you need a specific optic like a T1 or an EOTech, I have them. So just be like, hey, I want this gun and I'd like two mid caps and an EOTech and that'll work great and I can do package deals for you guys. I will give you guys deals and discounts. I'm also throwing in something free for everybody like a gear piece just so you guys can have some extra stuff. I have some extra gear pieces and pouches and stuff that I just am kind of offloading. So I'll throw in some stuff for that and then also throw in um, free stickers if you spend under $500 and then a free patch if you spend, or a free patch and sticker if you spend over $500. But I got a lot of stuff today, a lot of HPA stuff, a lot of AEGs. I'm gonna go gear first, then HPA, anything, and then we're gonna go AEG and then gas pullback and then pistols as well at the end. So it's about to be a ride. Also winner of the last video, it was $700 for the collection. So message me. Uh, on any of those things as well. You get a free patch and a sticker, I will send you free of charge. Ho! All right, up first we have backpacks. I've not really done this. So this is a fly three day assault pack and this is a field line um, pro series nice backpack. I just have too many backpacks. I love backpacks, but these are some big ones. These would be great for an all day airsoft event or if you're playing a Milson West event. Um, this is a fly, a thousand e quarter nylon range green one, and this one's a really nice camo one. Both are brand new, unused. This one still has the tags on it, and this one I just left under my bed. Up next is a multi-cam plate carrier. This one's really nice. I think this is just a basic condor plate carrier, um, but it's got all the patches and all the pouches will come with it. Um, it's a really nice setup. Does not have plates. Actually, it does, but they're like cheaper plates that are in the inside. Um, but it's a nice little plate carrier for a beginner. All right, up next we have a basic condor chest rig. This thing's nice, just a basic uh, Coyote Brown one. And then this is Justin's old battle belt. This is a fly multi-cam battle belt. It will come with this black pouch for double M4s and double pistols. And finally, for the gear section, we have basically my helmet, but it's a whole setup that has not been upgraded. Um, this is an Emerson fast helmet with the holes in the top. It is a multi-cam fast helmet. These are awesome, great base helmet setups. It does have a ZTAC headset, and then we'll come with a Baofeng UV5R as well as a push to talk. So basically, this is just a comm setup for anybody that wants it. I am not using this. It's kind of like a backup for me, and so I'm selling this all together. But this would put you perfectly for any Milsim event. It's got a great little speaker. You can hear really well out of the ear cups as well. Will come with the flag patches, and then the lights up top I think are dead. Um, but it's a really great condition helmet. It's been used very, very little, and it functions flawlessly. All right, up first we got Polar Star Central. I have six Polar Stars today. These things are awesome. Um, I love Polar Stars, if there are those of you that do not know. This is a Polar Star Jack and a Crytek Mark II SBR. Gemtech suppressor on here. I got RVG from Magpul. It's got candid iron sights that it will come with. It will not come with this optic unless you want to include it. I just have a short dot running on it right now. Aries Amoeba Grip, Speed Trigger. It does have a Pro Win hop-up and an upgraded bucking in it as well. I think the barrel is still stock, but actually comes all the way to like right here. So I think it's a stock barrel, but it's just a little bit longer than the stock one. And then it comes with a LE stock. This gun is in like new condition and functions very well. Up next, number two of three for the Jacks. This is an Elite Force 4 CRS. These were awesome. It's got a jacked engine, like I said. It does have a Mad Bull black python barrel, a upgraded bucking, and a pro win hop-up unit. I don't actually know what the suppressor is, but it's nice and it works well. Um, this is just a looks pec box. It will not come with this as this is a shot out sight mark, but it does come with a real steel PTS stock and a fake PTS grip. These are really nice setups. This is like the first Elite Force full metal setup. It's basically OEM BFC for those of you that do not know and it is a great little gun. All right, jack number three is up. This one I've actually had in two sale videos ago, and I don't know if people just don't like the SIGs that much, but this is a jack ICS uh, SIG. It's awesome. It's a 5.51, 5.52. Um, it's really, really nice. I love it. I just am going to use that G&G F2000 that I got, and I have my other M4, so I really don't need more than two Polar Stars because I think that's a little bit excessive. Um, it has a really nice grip here. It's got a speed trigger as well. It has an upgraded tight bore, um, R hop. It's just been really, it's been set up by a guy that was an engineer and he did all this work on it to make everything fit and it flunk, functions awesome. It really shoots well for a Polar Star, especially for a Jack. And it's a really nice lightweight build. It's just super unique, but yeah, super sweet gun. Up next, we have the first of the Fusion Engine builds in this video. This is a Noveski 
Um, up here up front, it is an Aries Amoeba stock build. I believe the lower is Amoeba, and then I'm not exactly sure what brand the upper is, but the lower is the Amoeba plastic and the upper is the metal. Um, like I said, Noveski up here. It's a real six hour rail, which is actually really nice. It will come with this Stark Arms vertical foregrip, which I love. Will not come with this ACOG unless you wanna add it extra. Um, and then it comes with like a basic stock and then a A2 style grip. I think this is a Gen 2 or Vision 2 engine. Um, it shoots well, it is a little bit older, but like I said, it's, it's still a Polestar Fusion engine. It's gonna blow any other gun out of the market. Up next, we have a stubby build for those of you that wanna be and live your best CQB, speed QB dreams. Um, this is a VFC body. It is a little bit more beat up. It does come with a Noveski amplifier or flash hide or whatever you guys kind of want. A PWS the Diablo rail system from Mad Bull. Got a Crytac stock. It's got the Ares Amoeba pistol grip. It's got all stock hop-ups and everything, but it does shoot really well. And like I said, any fusion engine is just going to be the best gun out there possible. These things are incredible. You can tune them however you want to shoot 60 rounds per second or to shoot 15 if you're one of those people, but it's an awesome little gun. All right, last Polar Star HPA gun of the day is this sniper rifle. I really wanted to use this. I know you guys kind of want to see me do some sniping videos, but I really love that GNG F2000. So in two weekends when I go play in Columbus, I will be using that instead of this. Uh, so this is just going to get sold. Um, this is it started out as a Tokyo Marie VSR government. Um, it's got the shorter barrel and then it has this tech suppressor there, which I think is awesome. It has a super nice matrix illuminated scope up on here. This boy is huge and gives you all the zoom and all the eye relief you want. Um, it does have a JG Works rubber outer body because it's nicer and feels nicer than the TM ones. It has the Wolverine Bolt HPA gun in here, or HPA gun engine, HPA system, I don't know exactly what you call it, has an upgraded Action Army hop-up, like literally everything in this hop-up wise, none of this is stock. This is like an $1,100 build, I think it is. Magpul MS2 sling comes with five magazines. Um, it's got an upgraded bolt. This one is bigger than the stock ones, and it's just way easier to pull, and that's all the travel on the bolt it is an awesome awesome setup it shoots like 300 350 feet dave and i were testing it at two joules over here and it was shooting all the way to the light pole which i laser range find it at like it was like 330 which is absolutely insane for an airsoft sniper rifle to be reaching there but it's hpa and it's wolverine so it makes sense all right up next we have an hk m27 these things are absolutely awesome you know what these are everybody knows what these are they're the 416s, M27s, everybody loves these guns. It does come with a Gemtech black hide suppressor. The barrel has been increased all the way to here. Um, this thing is so, so, so nice. It's pretty great. It's in pretty great condition as well. It has a little bit of rail markings up here, but every otherwise everything else is really nice. Bolt catch still works. Um, then everything else is stock on this gun, I believe, but it shoots awesome. These do have a little bit of sometimes issues with mags as they're a little bit picky but they feed flawlessly with the epms or the gmp mid caps which are what i always run so it works perfectly for me up next the 416 which is his younger brother however this one has been upgraded so it has a longer barrel on it this is the 416 cqb but basically it's just regular length this gun has been upgraded by sure shot midget so it is not stock everything internally has been upgraded i'll probably put a parts list in the description but it is awesome and really nice um, this is a Crytek flash hider on it, and then uh, just the basic uh, stock, and then a really nice PTS EPM grips. These are my favorite grips for Airsoft. And once again, these things are just laser accurate. I think this one does have a tight bore in it as well, and upgraded bucking, because Jared usually upgrades those things, but it has the stock hop-up unit, and it shoots very, very, very well. All right, up next, we have an Ares Amoeba AM009. These guns are absolutely awesome. Metal everything, basically, except for the receivers and then like the polymer stock parts. Everything else is really nice. It does have a upgraded muscle brake on here. Uh, what's that, Mr. B? You want to adventure? Shoo shoo. Um, it does have an upgraded muscle brake on here as well. It makes it look so good in my opinion. Got the rail segments and then everything works like it should. It's basically brand new. It still has the stickers on it. Awesome gun. All right, up next we have a Sharp Bros M4. This is basically like that except the EMG metal version of it. Has all the Ares Amoeba internals and has a little bit different external stocks. are the exact same. Grips are a little bit different. This one has a uh, amplifier instead. And then it's got the really cool Warthog look down there. I think that looks so awesome to be honest. And it's a really Really, really great setup. This one has a tuned trigger pull, so it's a little bit faster. I don't know if it's just different or this is the newer generation or just a little bit different generation, but I really, really like this gun. All right, up next we have another Crytek. This is a Crytek SPR Mark II. This thing's awesome. It's been used and fielded once, but it's in really good condition. It still has a sticker on it, and it's a Crytek, so it shoots well just like everything else. Um, but it has, does have a little bit of body war. I think this guy just used it in a Milsim event and then still left the stickers on, which is kind of funny. But it's an awesome gun. It shoots very, very well, like I said, all Crytax do. And it's about the best stock gun on the market you can get. 
All right, up next we have an ASG CZ805 Bren. These things are really, really cool. I had this one for sale in last sale video as well. Um, it does have a little bit of a crack in the pistol grip uh, during shipping that happened. I fixed it, I put a tough one grip over and I glued it so it's no issue at all. Gun still functions and shoot, uh, shoots awesome. It will not come with this unless you want this extra wise. Same with AFG, but this one is priced pretty well because it does have a little bit of issues and it shoots awesome as I get assaulted by nuts. Hey, Hammy, where you at? <laughs> All right, up next we have a Stamp Steel Sima AK. This thing is absolutely awesome. It is like new. It will come with five GMP mid caps as well as a scope riser on it. Um, it does. Only issue is that during shipping, it got the charging handle got a little broke, but you can still access it and everything. Nothing is different. You don't really need that anyway. And it does have a folding stock, which is pretty cool. These are like the platinum or the higher end version of the Sima AKs. Anyways, back to the gun. This is a like new KDB LM4 PTR. It's in really, really good shape. I think this thing, he said he got it as a replacement for his other gun. It's been used like once. He put the Myad grip on it, same stock. Um, it, internals literally look brand new. It looks like it's not been worn hardly at all. There's a little wear on the rail here as this is an AR uh, 7.0 light rail system by Daniel Defense. Um, it does look a little bit weird with that kind of gap as the barrel goes all the way here, but it was designed for range rather than looks, and I think it's really solid. So somebody that loves Jeep BBRs will love this gun. All right, up next is the plastic springers of the group. This is a spring FAMAS, is a spring AK-74. These are really cheap. This was a shell ejecting. I don't actually know if it works. This is the one that released all the crust in one of those videos, but these are super cheap. We'll make great little starter guns for your kid or something like that. Up next, same kind of thing. This is a Sima shotgun. This is just a mag fed shotgun. It's really nice. I got it in this e-bike mystery box. So it's cheap, but it's perfect. It'll last somebody for a good amount of time. Kind of the same thing your kid, or if you want to use in backyard airsoft games, it would be perfect for you. And last of the Springers, the actual nice one. This is the gun that uh, I got screwed over with because Doug sent back and messed me up on PayPal. So this is back up for sale. It will come with four magazines, nice little scope. It's a uh, AGM slash JG slash one of those brands, L96, something Matrix. I don't 100% know as they're all kind of made in the same factory, um, but I will ship it in two pieces. So it'll be two pieces, but it has the screws in the body. So it makes it a little bit easier for shipping. And that's how it'll look. It will come with the scope as well. Gun functions awesome. It's There's nothing wrong with it. It's like new, like I said, um, but it, I just don't have any use for snipers. You guys know that I don't really use snipers at all. And last but certainly not least is the gas blowback section. I have three pistols today. First one is a HK USP 45. This is a Kitty BA. It will come with three magazines. All are like new. This gun is in awesome condition. And it will also come with a Blackhawk Serpa holster. I do have the paddle mount and the belt mount as well. So you can mount it kind of any way you want. If you want to mount it molly, you will have to pick those up extra as they don't come with them stock. These are great little holsters. They're probably my favorite one. Back when I ran airsoft pistols, I used to use these all the time. Uh, magazines, none of them leak. They're all perfect. And it's a great little starter pistol package if you want to run this up next are two of the rarer pistols i don't know if i actually listed this one i think i've had this on hop up for a little bit i did a video of these pistols back in the day but i did get that tanaka car 88 and so the my money for collector guns has kind of gone to that instead of this so i'm selling both these guns um this is a inakatsu 100th anniversary pistol this is awesome this is full steel when these dropped in 2011 they retailed for like a grand or 800 i got this from a guy it was used hardly at all just left up as a shelf piece um, but I have shot it and it does shoot very, very well, which is awesome because it functions not only as like a set piece, and this will be the most realistic 1911 airsoft gun you have ever felt. It is steel. It feels like my buddy's real 1911. It feels like any other real 1911 that I have held. It is awesome. Um, it does come with a CO2 magazine, so it helps the slide pull back a little bit more. And then I'm also including a green gas magazine if you want to not have as much recoil, but it needs the CO2, honestly, in order to recoil properly. But this is a rare, super cool piece of history. There will be a limited target market for these next two as they are. Same with the sniper. It's just a little bit more limited. Everybody can buy an M4, but not everybody can afford and or wants one of these super limited edition high quality airsoft pistols. And last but certainly not least is the Tokyo Murray Desert Eagle. I can't remember if I've listed this before. I talked about this pistol. This would be like the coolest Black Ops Zombies Revelation style airsoft event pistols in the world. Um, I just don't have any use for it. It does shoot really well. It shoots awesome. It is something that you can use again, like I said, with that other pistol as a collector's piece, or you can go blast people all over the field with. It's up to you. Kind of depends on what you guys want, but I really like it. I just, like I said, I spent all the money on that Tanaka Car 98, so I no longer am going to keep this. It was fun to use for a time, and now it's time to send 
to a newer home. I'm not exactly sure what these are worth, so I'm kind of taking offers on it. Um, I might have a price in the description if I've done a little bit more research, but there's so few and far between, it's kind of hard to tell with these super rare airsoft pistols. All right, guys, this has been Alec Mac 101. Thank you if you stuck around to the end of the video. Like I said, message me on all those platforms below. That's the best way to get in contact with me, and hopefully we can work out a deal, and I will ship you out some guns sooner rather than later. I am throwing in, like I said, uh, I'm going to throw in a nice gear piece to anybody and everybody. I'm going to throw in stickers and patches for free, so we'll see what happens. You guys are the best.